card, day, starting up day four here. It's uh, Bryce Williamson on the sticks. Uh, as you can see, the sun still did come up today. So uh, we'll see. Uh, it's about 9 a.m. here, and we're just going to be uh, heading down to team breakfast. Well, the boys just finished breakfast here, and uh, we're going to catch, catch a little of the Latvia game on TV, watch Ralph's little hitter, Freebirds. Oh, maybe he'll be on TV right here. Did you see his helmet? Uh, no FaceTime. Walker doesn't like Ralph, so he doesn't want to watch the game. That was the, that was the first helmet he ever wore. Well, it's Willie back on the uh, video here. It's about 9.45, heading the rink, just leaving our hotel, the bent prop in. <laughs> Uh, I think the boys are pretty excited to get back on the ice and, uh, you know, work the, work the kinks out from yesterday and have a, have a better effort tonight. So we're here at the rink now. We're going to do our first feature of the day. It's on junior forward Dan DeSalvo. Hey, Dan. I'd like to ask you a few questions here if that's okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to know what it's like to be one of the smaller forwards in the NCAA. How do you get around and create space for yourself? Um, you know, got a couple of line mates by the name Bryce Williamson, Brent Tate. They like to do the creating the space for me you know, so I can take over, be a skill guy. You know. All that stuff. And you're from uh, Chicago, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. What's it like in Chicago, Dan? Oh man, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. You've been there. You've been there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how'd there. you feel about it? Oh, it's okay. You know. Um, Decent hot dogs and what, oh, whatever. Great pizza, deep dish, lumanis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for being a part of the first feature of the day, Daniel. Hey, thanks for having me. Yeah. We're going to start our uh, second feature of the day with uh, Brent, the Sheriff Tate. He's uh, been patrolling the red line and making sure that everybody is following the rules on the ice for years. Say hello, Brent. Hello. How are you? Brent's from Canton, Michigan. It's um, the great state of Michigan. Great state of Michigan. Always. Might not be quite as cold as it is here in uh, Anchorage. We're heading down to the water now. Hey Brent, look, there's your truck. There's my truck. It does look like Brent's truck. <laughs> We're gonna go check out the water here and ask uh, the sheriff a few questions. So how you like in Alaska there, Brent? I love it. We're walking to the water right now. I can't wait to go see the seals and the otters. Hopefully there's some cool wildlife down there. Maybe a couple mooses. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. A couple mooses out on the water would be pretty cool, yeah, huh? Right? Is it mooses or meese? It's meeses. <laughs> meeses? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were doing a little uh, reading on the bus on the way here, and I guess there's a place in Alaska called Barrow. It only, only has about 4,000 people. Located at the northernmost point in Alaska. Pretty interesting little tidbit for the camera here. Fun fact for the day. <laughs> Fun fact. So, Brent, what do you think? You gonna uh, patrol the ice today too? Got to. That's my job, you know. Guys looking after me, patrol the ice. So. Yeah. Got to do my job. Full, full well, potential. Well, if the refs aren't gonna do it, then you got to do it, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The refs are suspicious too. <laughs> so you're from I, Canton, eh? What do you do in Canton, Brent? Oh man, great state of Michigan. Canton's beautiful. Go to the lakes all the time. Hang out, you know. Right Can't on. Beat it. Yeah, that's good. I, I'd like to give a, a shout out to my uh, best friend Jake Sloat. Oh, uh, the senior on the team. Burko's a little bit jealous that we're best friends, you know. So <laughs> Burko, he's salty about it this trip because he's he saw that uh, <laughs> me and Sloat had great bonding time, and uh, Burko's not too happy about it. If you see Burko's walking way back there by himself. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to wrap up our feature on uh, Brent the Sheriff Tate for the day here. 
and uh, we'll catch up with you in a few minutes while uh, we uh, check out the seals at the lake here. The otters. Or the otters. Seals. All right. <laughs> well, it's Willie again. It's about uh, 12 p.m. North Pole time. Uh, just doing a little <laughs> sightseeing here with the boys. How do we get I think really, really nice. How do you get down there really, 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 really good. Nice. nice. Scorsese. Let's go, let's go. How do you get there? Let's just go around. Let's just go around. Dude, that ice is probably right pretty there. thick. We could probably make it to the mountains and back before dinner. <laughs> <laughs> At least before 1230. Hell, that only looks like a couple K. What's this called again, Walker? What's this, what's this place called again? We'll have to double check that though. You see the He's a little slow. The otters are right there. Flipping it, they're flipping and flopping around. Tate said that those things out in the distance, it's a glacier. Those are glaciers. It's more like a mountain to the kid, but. It's a big iceberg. <laughs> that right there Dude, actually how sick would Hellas is the glacier that? that the Titanic hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Willie here again. Uh, Saturday about 1.45 p.m. Just here with my roommate Coop, Coop DeVille. Getting ready for a pregame nap. What's up guys? Just got a little little TV going. Getting ready for our nap and uh, just getting ready for the game tonight. We'll uh, check in with you after a nap here. Well, it's Willie here again. It's about uh, 4.30. Just uh, getting ready to... Uh, pack our stuff and get on the bus to head to the game here. Uh, looking for a big uh, two points tonight, and uh, ho hopefully we can get it done. <laughs> 